Welcome everybody. Uh, Dorothy, describe your body for me. Curvy, voluptuous, carefree, and just big and Jenny, beautiful. what about you? How do you think your body is viewed here in Australia? Oh, well, uh, I think that um, there tends to be a perception that um, fat is linked with, uh, you know, illness, um, undesirability, perhaps laziness, gluttonous, those kinds of words. But how do you feel in yourself about your size? Well, it's, um, it's changed over the years. And I mean, one of my earliest memories is my mother going to a weight loss group and taking me along. I was just colouring it in the corner and she put on weight that week. So she had to wear a pig snout and sing a piggy song um, in that group. So I suppose an early How memory. How old were you when you were About four or five. And she was just trying to do the, the right thing in her eyes by dieting, going to a weight loss group. And uh, um, I suppose the shame attached to that image um, carried through for me. And, um, um, so, Julia, Julia you, you're a fitness trainer. What do you think of Jenny and Dorothy being happy with their bodies? Um, I think that's, that's fantastic. Are you healthy? As, have you been to the doctors and they've told you that you're healthy? Well, I think that's quite a loaded question because I don't think anyone here who's thin was, is going to be asked that. So mm. I, I guess that's what I would say to that answer, that we have to look as well at the assumptions that are made. Uh, and I would say you can't actually tell someone's lifestyle or health by looking at them. I do think that there's such a health focus in our country mm -hmm. that uh, I call it healthism, a kind of okay. moral obligation for people to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have to watch that too. I think that people but it's have a, a blanket idea that all fat people are unhealthy and all mm. fat people are unfit mm. and all fat people are miserable, whereas it, we are not one person, we are a group mm. of individuals mm. and each individual has their own relationship to their health and their bodies. I have an incredibly like engaged physical activity Jenny, and I'm the size what do that you I think am. Of the ad? I, well, I would argue it's negative. I think even using terms like toxic fat, I mean, there's really no such thing that's just made up for the ad. And I think a lot of these kinds of ads are I think quite one negative. of the prevailing things that are happening here is that what I'm hearing is this intense sort of discussion around self-hatred and when you're in a bigger body. And I wanted to ask people, like down the front there, you're, you who's 20, are you, is your life better? Are you happier? Is, is everything better now that you're slightly smaller than you were before? I mean, I think one of the things well, that... Let, let's get an answer to the question are you absolutely and I'm not a little bit smaller I'm a lot smaller and I did I did do research into everything I can still have kids and that may not have happened if I had to stay the size I was like my question to you is can you honestly say that you are a hundred percent happy and healthy like you have no medical conditions whatsoever you have no problems at all with your health like at your okay, weight we as answer? compared to... Can we have an I answer? No, no, no. Let's, the question's been asked. What's the answer? Um, I think it's really interesting that I feel like I need to justify my existence in this room No, but right hang on now. a minute. You asked her to justify her decision. I and asked her if she asking... was happy. I didn't ask yeah, her to justify yeah. what her health issues now or if there is any. But have you got any health issues? No, I'm perfectly and happy. I'd love to know, like, what do you see as healthy with eating? Um, yeah, it's Perhaps interesting that you've just food. assumed that I eat bad food because no, of my size. No, I'd size. love to know because if you're really healthy, do you have any joint issues or so you're completely... I swim two and a half kilometres a day. Mm -hmm. I walk, uh, I exercise all the time. I am in a, in a synchronised swimming team and I really resent the fact that I have to actually justify my existence and my ability to live in the world in a bigger body in but a way that I'm But we're all talking with. about health tonight. I mean, the well, whole show the, is, the, about, is about weight and health. No, so it's not about talking about your surgery and we haven't actually talked about the possibility that you can actually live in a life in your life. No, but we in have. Body. We have talked about that. But I, all I'm saying is that a question to anyone about what they eat in the context of this program, mm. anyone in this room, is perfectly reasonable. reasonable. I think those I questions think. have been asked a lot, and I guess what we're saying is that um, there are other, are other ways to frame a discussion about fat, not just about health. And also, I do think that it's problematic that you're asking individual people, are you healthy? Because even I'm a not fat asking person, anyone if they're healthy. Well, not necessarily. No, Someone, no, 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 no. Hang on, don't put words in my mouth. Well, don't put words in my mouth. Because Julius asked, um, sorry, I don't know your Julius. name, but Julius asked, 
you before Jenny what you ate and you avoided the answer. No, I answered not, like, the question differently. But you're saying by you're saying, healthy. I want to know. Like, no, if you're healthy, I, I want to know. I said that I wouldn't answer that question because I Why? felt Why? that a lot of thin people would not be asked that question. We're being asked to justify an existence. Well, I'll tell you what I, I eat. I'm quite I comfortable will just, to tell you what I eat every well, single day. I'll just finish my statement, and that is that uh, that I think um, this conflation of fat and health is one thing, but another thing is whether a fat person's healthy or not is is not necessarily the primary question that I think we should focus on the, the whole time here. But